Well, today's the day. It's the kiln results. Uh, for the past 12 days, I've been baking firewood in my kiln. Uh, this is a 40 foot shipping container. I did 15 feet of kiln and the rest is gonna be storage. You're gonna have to stay tuned to see how much moisture I pulled out of this firewood. I have exactly how many gallons of water that was pulled out by the dehumidifier. I've got four to five things I'm gonna change before the next firing of this kiln. I think there's some things I can improve on. And if you'd like to do one of these kilns, don't do the same mistakes I've done. I appreciate you watching. Kick back your feet, enjoy the video, and watch me work. Okay, it's about 8.30. Just want to give you an update on the kiln. It's been running for, what, five hours? Um, right now, the, let me look at the panel here. We've got 96.4 degrees, and then the humidity's uh, 72. So I'm guessing we've got probably a half a gallon of water, maybe more, in there. So that's good. So that means it is working. Uh, let's come in here and take a peek real quick. So coming in here very, very muggy, um, but you can kind of see the moisture is already kind of coming out of some of this wood. Might try to get a, let me go get a reading here. All right, let's check this top piece here quick. Uh, my batteries are going dead. Come on, just give me one reading here. So it's saying about 28% moisture content. I think we started around 30. So that's just a piece on the top, but you can kind of see like this piece, looks like the moisture is coming out of it. So we're gonna shut this up and let it keep cooking. Okay, so that's uh, the first afternoon, five hours in. So I did have some audio issues on my camera. Uh, this was the following morning about 7.30. Temperature was 89.8. The humidity inside was 73.1. I was able to pull out close to five gallons of water from overnight and end up averaging about 0.3 gallons per hour. So it wasn't bad at all. Okay, opening up the kiln, still very, very stuffy and humid inside, but you can tell there's a lot going on inside. A lot of the humidity and water is being pulled out. Uh, temperature is rising. Airflow seems to be doing well. I am going to add a few more fans in this uh, the next time I run a test. But for the first afternoon, shit. But for the first time overnight, I think it did pretty well. Okay, I'm walking out to the shipping container kiln right now to check it. And it's about three o'clock, 3.30. So officially the firewood's been in there for 24 hours. So you can hear my panels beeping. So something must be just very hot in there. So it's 102 degrees inside with 70% moisture content. So I just set the top temp to 120 degrees. So right now 102 degrees inside with 70% moisture. Let's take a look down in the bucket and see how much water we got. So we're about half full. So in 24 hours, I'm gonna say we pulled out seven gallons because I've already emptied this one time. Seven gallons of water. So I grabbed a piece of cherry and a piece of red oak that were on top. Uh, the cherry measured at like 26% and I believe the red oak was either 33, probably 30 to 35 percent. So this was the, this side was the exposed side that was already, so that's showing 11 percent, but on the inside it's showing 27 percent, 25 percent. So not much movement there. So 
let's test the maple. 36% on the exposed side. This one I split, 30%, 2930. So that's saying 16% on the exposed side. Let's split it. All right, wet side. Thirty percent exterior here, twenty-four percent. So it's getting there. I'm gonna say a week will be done. We'll see though. Okay, so this is what the wood looks like after 24 hours of drying. As you can see, the water's just kind of flowing right down, dripping right down. So it's pulling a lot out. So one modification after this load is complete. I'm gonna add some insulation and plywood or OSB to the floor. So I did not do that and I've learned I'll lose some moisture by not doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that once this load's done. So hopefully we'll let this cook a week and then uh, come out. Okay, so that wraps up the first day, 24 hours into the uh, kiln. Okay, it's eight o'clock on the next day with the kiln so it's been in there for 30 hours and we're going to kind of see what's going on with the water first okay okay so i'm going to call that four gallons uh yeah let's go four gallons there so i'm going to empty that right now so that way i don't want it overflowing overnight so so far a total of nine gallons i did empty a bucket this morning. Okay, inside the uh, container, we're at 100 degrees with 74% moisture. So I think overall, a good first day. Um, I'm gonna give it, I'm hoping a week, but I might really check it and open it up after three days. So I do think I am losing heat and or gaining moisture through the floor. Uh, so just looking at some other designs that people have done online, I think uh, once this is done, I am going to do that. And then I do have an exhaust fan that I'm going to mount up top here. And that's a Viver. I think it's a 14-inch. I got it off Amazon. It runs off a thermostat. So when it reaches a certain temperature or a high humidity, it'll turn on and blow that um, air out. So that's probably the next changes I'll make um, here once this load is done. Okay, 7.30, coming out. Checking to see what's going on at the kiln. Uh, current temperature outside is 70 degrees. Uh, inside the container is 91.8 and 70.3% moisture content. I'm guessing four to five gallons. Feels heavy. We're gonna go with four gallons. Okay, on the inside of the kiln, I do have some moisture coming out the bottom of the container. I think that's normal. Uh, that's why I feel it's important to get the floor in and get that covered. Uh, wood seems to be doing well. Still very humid inside here. Not much cracking on the ends of the wood. I still think it needs a lot more time. So hopefully a few more days and we'll call it done. We'll see. Okay, walking out to the kiln, 830, 71 degrees. Let's check the water first here. We're gonna call that four gallons there. But we're gonna let that keep going. Check it again later. 91.9 .9 degrees and 67% humidity. So the humidity is dropping, that's good. Walking out to the kiln to check on the progress of the kiln. Let's open up the panel and see what we got out of here. Uh, 88 degrees inside the kiln, uh, 64%, so that's still dropping, which I think is good. Uh, 70 degrees right now here. And uh, should be a warm one again today. High of about 79. Check out the water. dump that and we're gonna call that what we're gonna call that five gallons 
Okay, heading out to the kiln, 830, 69 degrees outside. Eighty seven point two degrees inside, sixty one point nine percent humidity. So we're on the downhill. So I think today I'm gonna open the kiln up and I'm gonna split some of the wood in there and see uh see what the in inside moisture content is of the wood. Let's check the water. And we've got four gallons, we'll dump that out. Let's open the kiln and see what we got. It's hard to do one handed. You can already tell it's not as humid in here. I'm gonna grab a piece of wood here. Okay, we'll be back out later to actually test all this wood. Okay, I'm back out at the kiln. It's Sunday at seven o'clock. It is, I'm gonna get a temp for you, 85 degrees here. We're going to open up the box here. Uh, looks like it's 102 and 60.6 so the humidity is continuing to drop okay we're going to open both doors and actually pull some wood out to split outside it says 16 and a half i'm going to guess inside will be 25 we'll see 28 percent This piece is 24.9%. This looks like a piece of oak, so let's hammer this one. That's the side that was split. So this oak is still 30%. So that's still not done. Okay, heading out to the container. It's June 30th, 78 degrees. Uh, scattered showers here today. Uh, kilns at 97 and then 58 for the um, humidity. So that's dropping uh, just the way I like it. I didn't empty the bucket yesterday, but it's extremely full right now. So we'll empty that out. Okay. I think tomorrow will be a week in, I believe, but we'll see. Still dripping nicely. And I'm hoping my humidity is below 60. Yeah, temperature is at 95.9 and then humidity is at 56.5. Looking good. Okay, it's time to unload this kiln. Um, I don't know if the wood is truly done, but it's been in there about 12 days and I got some modifications I want to do to improve this. I know it works. I'm just going to try to do some things to improve the uh, speed to uh, dry the wood quicker. Okay, when I started this, um, after the first day, uh, the humidity built up to about 78%. Uh, currently, we are at, let me show you. We are currently at 50.2%, so that's pretty good. Uh, currently it's 94.7 inside. Uh, here at the house, I believe it is roughly 85 degrees. Uh, very hot, very sunny. So we're gonna unload this kiln, uh, crack open some pieces and see how, how much uh, moisture is still left in that wood. So initially it's not as muggy as it was on the inside.
Gonna start splitting a few pieces and just checking the inside moisture. Oh, that was a terrible swing. That's at six. 11% on the outside. On the inside, we're still at like 29. Inside, 33 on this piece. Thirteen on the outside. So my overall uh, consensus is this wood's dropped from about 35 down to 20, 28 percent. So there has been a significant amount of uh, loss in 12 days. Uh, a few things I do need to change. Number one, I know I'm probably losing or gaining moisture through the floor. So once I get this wood out, I'm going to be putting in an insulated floor, some foam board, and then OSB on top to help that as well. Um, I think I need to get a few more fans. And next time I might introduce heat. Uh, just get some fans going and get some more heat in here. And then maybe take out the dehumidifier, but we'll see. So I'm going to kind of play around with it, uh, but this is a good initial first test. I'm going to bring some baskets over and kind of get this unloaded. So I am working on a, a trolley system, a track system to where once I get this system down pat, I'll be able to have some railroad ties out here and kind of put wheels on the crates and I'll be able to roll and push them in and out uh, a lot easier than hand stacking everything. So right now it's kind of a work in progress. I'm not going to dump a ton of money into something I'm not going to use. I want to make sure I'm going to use it before I invest more money into the kiln. Also, this fall, I'm planning on making this kiln fully operated by solar power. I'm testing out to see how many kilowatt hours I'm going to use on a daily basis. Uh, based on my area uh, and the sun coverage, I'm going to have to figure out how many panels and how many batteries. So um, hopefully by this fall, winter, this will be fully operational by solar.